So today I'm going to show you guys how to do a monochromatic watercolor painting. And monochromatic means it's just one color and different values. Mono means one, uh, one color watercolor painting. <clears throat> so I have in front of me a few different things. I have my matrix that I've previously made, which is a chart that shows different color mixtures. And I also have my uh, watercolor technique chart that I've previously made. And I also have my drawing already to go on watercolor paper. Um, I'm working with a black and white photograph. So I've printed out a black and white photograph so that I can see the different values, the different lights and darks. And I've sketched it out real lightly you can barely see it here. I sketched it out really lightly on my watercolor paper. And I also have my cup of water. I have a couple size brushes. A big one for the background and large areas and then a smaller one for all the detail. I have my um, paper towel. And I've also got just a couple colors. I'm deciding to work with for my one color, I'm looking at my matrix, and I decided I want to go with blue and a touch of brown, okay? So my entire painting is going to be this color right here. So I have my palette, and I've pulled out brown and blue, and I also grabbed some salt because I'm going to incorporate some salt in the background um, from my techniques that I've practiced. So I'm going to incorporate um, salt and this whole painting is going to be done using gradation. Gradation is the shift in value from dark to light as we've been practicing um, in previous lessons. And so in my photograph when I start painting, I'm really going to be paying attention to the shift in value, the shift from dark to light. So this uh, photograph is actually pretty kind of dark um, in general. So I might continue to practice gradation. I'm going to continue to practice gradation in the background. So I'm going to lighten up. I'm going to change up the background a little bit uh, since it's so it's not so um, dark of a silhouette against the background. So you'll see. So the first step when you're doing your monochromatic watercolor painting is to draw it out your idea on your watercolor paper. You can draw it out freehand or you can use the gridding technique, the grid method. And then you want to tape your drawing down so that you have a real small edged uh, border a nice clean edge, you put, tape it down to your um, board or to your table so that the paper doesn't warp. And after you have your drawing taped down, you have to pick out what color you want to work with, any color off your matrix, just one. And then you want to also consider uh, techniques. You might want to use saran wrap in the background. Maybe you want to do wet into wet salt. Um, bleeding uh, wouldn't probably be the best for this because it involves mixing multiple colors and since we're only using one color for this assignment we're not going to do any bleeding. Okay so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and mix up my uh, colors. I'm going to set my salt off to the side and I'm going to mix up quite a bit of my blue-brown on a pa my palette here. Okay, so quite a bit of this blue. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and mix it up over here. A little bit more water. I'm going to go ahead and mix up quite a bit of this because this is the only color I'm going to be using for my whole painting. 
I'm going to clean my brush before I dip into my brown. And I'm just going to dull this down, dull my color down with a little bit of brown. Okay, so it's blue with just a touch of brown. And it might be a good idea to have a little scratch piece of watercolor paper with you while you're painting with watercolors so that you can always kind of check your colors. So I'm happy with the way that looks. My blue-brown, I'm going to go ahead and work with that. Continuing to look at my photograph as a reference. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my small brush and I'm going to work on the figure first. Okay, so I'm going to start from the right hand side of my figure and I'm going to work my way over, taking this sh dark sh shadowy area from the top of her head all the way down to her shoulder. Okay, and I'm going to continue to practice gradation as I dip into my cup of water and I'm just going to slowly kind of pull this pigment over okay so it goes from dark to light and same thing down here with her neck Keep in mind that you can always go back in and make things darker later. I'm continuing to blot my brush as I paint, lifting up some of that excess water. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of block out the shadows. Right now I'm going to let this area dry and then I'll come back to that in a little bit. She has a little highlight in her um, shoulder so I'm going to be sure to kind of pull that out. So throughout this whole painting, I am continuing to practice gradation. I am pulling my lights out by adding more water. Okay, so if I want to make an area go from dark to light, I am just adding more water and kind of pulling it over. And I'm working kind of quickly before it starts to dry, if I really want it to smoothly blend. I want to be careful not to go, um, if I want to have a clean edge, I, if this is still wet right here, the top of the belly, I want to be careful not to paint along the top of that belly um, right away because then the it'll bleed down into my white area. And as you can see on my photograph, I want a real um, smooth edge right here, a real high contrast 
um, between um, dark and light, the shadow underneath the arm and the top of the belly, there's that real um, stark contrast that I want to be sure to keep. So again, like I said, if the, the top of my belly is still a little bit damp and I try to paint that dark right up against that edge, it will, it will bleed into the next section and I want to be um, careful not to um, do that. So I'm going to just kind of stop right here for now. I'm going to continue to let the top of the belly dry and I'm going to work the dark area over here um, underneath the armpit. Okay, so I'm going to start with that line and then I'm going to take my cup of water. I'm going to um, grab some water and I'm just going to pull out pull this shadow out real slightly. And again, trying to do it while it's all still wet. Okay, that looks okay. I'm going to stop right there and I'm just going to maybe add a little bit more dark now right into here and it'll kind of fade over a little bit into that water. Okay, I can try to blur that out a little bit by just going back over it with just a little swipe of water. Okay, and I feel like that section really is uh, really good demonstrating gradation here. The left, her um, right arm here that's crossing over her chest, that's a good um, shift from dark to light. Okay, and the belly. It's a good shift from dark to light. Now I'm going to try to work on some of the shadows up here, the slight shadows um, in her chest area. Okay, not a lot of dark shadows in her chest area, so I'm going to um, be sure that my um, colors aren't too too dark okay I have put a little bit of just some water on my palette next to my colors so I can easily um, dilute my my pigment So there's a little shadow right here above her hand. So again, I'm just going to kind of lay that down and then I'm going to dip into my water and I'm going to just kind of blot my brush. And I'm going to just pull that out. Try to blur the edge. So I'm blotting my brush, pull that out, blot my brush. Same thing on the other side. I want this subtle shadow in between her chest to kind of fade. Laying down a little bit of water up here on her other shoulder. I'm just going to drop a little bit of color into that and let it kind of fade out, blur out for another shadow. So the top of the belly here feels, um, feels dry to the touch, so I'm going to go ahead and go back into that 
And again, I want a really dark shadow right up against the edge of the belly. So I'm just going to go in with quite a bit of pigment. Okay, and then I want to kind of go in on top of that and blur this, try to blur this edge out. So I'm just, again, I just dipped into my water and I slightly blotted my brush. And I'm just pulling it up with my brush. Try to get the gradation in the shadow of her forearm. And just a reminder, gradation in your drawings and your paintings, the shift from dark to light, again, it helps your drawings and paintings appear to be three-dimensional. Okay, and she's got a dark shadow here. These are her knuckles. 